some couscous that's just not the side dish, but the star of the plate. I've got a great recipe that you can take and adapt to your own. Let's get cooking with style. What I love about couscous is how easy it is to actually make. So I've got my couscous here, my broth is boiling. To that broth, I added a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. Give it a stir, shut it off, put the lid on, and five minutes later, it's done. Been about five minutes, look at that, nice and fluffy. We're gonna put the butter in and we're gonna put the lid back on top. And I'm also gonna put the olive oil over the top of this and it's just gonna be a couple more minutes. We'll let that melt and we'll fluff it up. It's been a couple minutes and this butter should be just about melted. It's close enough, so let's go ahead and do this. And so when I say fluff, I mean literally fluffing. We're just gonna go like this. And you see, we're not mashing it, we're just lifting it lightly, because we don't want, this is actually a, a very delicate thing here. So we're gonna take it out of our pot, we're gonna put it into a mixing bowl and we're gonna finish it off in the mixing bowl because I've got some really great ingredients that are gonna make this couscous really special. So, what I've done is I've gone ahead and minced up some mint, some scallions or green onions, the tops, parsley, and then I've gone ahead and used some cranberries, dried cranberries, and I've chopped them up so they're nice, fine little pieces. And then to that, I've got a zest of lemon. And then additionally to all of this, I've gone ahead and toasted some papitas or pumpkin seeds. I put them in last because I don't want them to get soggy. Now you could use any other type of nut. You could use slivered almonds, sliced almonds. You could use pine nuts. I just happen to like the papitas. And so we're gonna go ahead and toss this gently. And what's great about this couscous is it, it really can add a lot to a meal and it becomes almost like the showpiece to maybe something that's not as, you know, you're not serving a larger protein. You can see how there's so much in this that it really makes for a wonderful, wonderful dish. So we'll go ahead and plate this up. And I like to give a couple big scoops because I guarantee you once people try that, they're gonna want more. And I said how you don't have to have a lot of protein. You could go with some shrimp. So I've grilled some shrimp that I'll put in there like that. And then how about maybe some of these chicken tenders? We'll put those on the other side. And then to finish it off, I'll just take a little bit of lemon and squeeze that over the top of everything so we have a little bit of lemon. Now remember, you've got the lemon zest in there. So that is my version of a couscous. You can change this recipe up to what you'd like, but this is my elevated version of it on Cooking With Style. So if you'd like this recipe, go to cbs8.com slash recipes. Mm -hmm.